I remember when Ronald Reagan was running in the 80s. Do you know what the word on the street in the black community was? Do not vote for Reagan because he will cut welfare. And it's caused a lot of blacks to have this hand out mentality where the Republican Party would give us a hand up. But we've been so accustomed to having the hand out, it disgusted me when I watched the Democratic National Convention and they paraded black person after black person after black person up to say, Hillary's been good to us. Hillary has been there for us as if we're some inferior species right. that wow. needs Hillary's help oh, yeah. in order yeah. to be normal. Wow. I was offended by it. I really was. Yeah. Hillary has been good to us. Wow. Hillary helped us as if we cannot help Ourself. But you know what, Daryl? It's it's not just restricted to the black community now. We understand by the statistics that one third of people in a family living in the same household are not working. I know from people in my own church and our ministry, it's not black, it's not white. There's single moms, there's people that are living on food stamps. Mm -hmm. The food stamps are good the first week and the second week. The third week, we have to figure out how to feed them. Mm -hmm. Is Donald Trump a racist? I just, one more time, I want you, I want you. Is Donald Trump a racist? I've heard it. I've heard those, all the reporters, I've heard all they say, and the, the mean-spiritedness. Mm. I think the media mm. needs to get its nose out of the politics, mm. report on it, but stop taking sides back and forth. It's insanity. Well, it's making the news. Don't make the news. I've received more racism from the black community. <laughs> I call it reverse racism. Yeah. See, for some reason, African Americans think that we have a right to be racist. And I don't care what was done to you, what indignities you suffered, you still don't have a right to be racist. And the racism that I've received has come from the black community, not from the white community, but absolutely not Donald Trump. is not. A, first of all, if he was a racist, he wouldn't call me his pastor. He wouldn't call me his friend. You know, he even does stuff like, I was at a press conference with him one time, and he said, you know, I have to tell the truth because the pastor is here. <laughs> and so, like I said, he has that old school reverence. The reverence, uh, but respect. But if you go to Trump Democrat. Tower, like the first time I went to Trump Tower, I was up on the 26th floor, which is executive, his executive wing, and I looked around, and let's say hypothetically there are 30 offices on that floor, the executive wing. This is the brain trust of the Trump organization. Mm -hmm. Out of those 30 offices, 18, 19 are manned by women in top executive positions. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Yeah. Out of those women, yeah. half of them were minorities. Mm. They introduced me to the head of all of Trump real estate worldwide, an Asian young lady. And I looked at her and said, I thought Trump was supposed to not like Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Lynn Patton, who's a friend of mine, she's been with the Trump organization for years. I mean, you, you can look at Amoroso. You can mm -hmm. look at, you know, nobody called him a racist during yeah. The Apprentice. No. Celebrity Apprentice mm -hmm. and on The Apprentice, mm -hmm. they didn't call him that then. It's political. Mm hmm well, actually, you know, with some of these leaks that are coming out, we see who the real racist is. Yeah, yeah. that's the truth. Exactly. That's <laughs> we see where the real racism wow. is coming from. But, you know, yeah, to answer your question, absolutely daily. not. And, you know, someone even asked me, they said, well, if he has all these high-profile um, black friends, why don't they endorse him? I said, because they're Democrats. I said, oftentimes what you oh. call racial is not racial, it's cultural. Listen, Donald Trump is not going to turn his hat backwards, sag his blue jeans, no. start bumping rap music down in the hood with Pookie Ray Ray Junebug. <laughs> He's not doing it. No. <laughs> if he does have a lot of black friends, they're going to be on his cult, on his soul, economic, like anyone's friends. He, right. He's friends with a lot of black millionaires and a lot of black billionaires. And it's, it's not racial, it's cultural, it's uh, uh, economic, whatever. It's, it's normal. How can Donald Trump get the Hispanic and the black vote. Yes. What, what are we going to do that would cause your brethren, the black brethren, to vote, or the Italians, or the French, <laughs> or well, the Hispanics? Uh, I don't know how many Italian Jews there are, so I don't know if I could turn out that big a vote, but I can talk to you about the Hispanic. One vote's good. We want every vote we can get. And right by now. the way, our, our church, my church, is, is multicultural. Mm -hmm. And we, too, have come under a lot of flack. Wow. And uh, good people, but uh, I had one woman who I love dearly. I call her my daughter. She said, Pastor, she said, don't you know that Democrats hate black people and that Donald Trump hates black people, and that's why I'm having such a hard time with you. And so I've had to turn to this man to help me how to, to guide through that because he can tell you, we've had this conversation, we'll have it publicly. He can say things and speak into the black community that I can't say. 
I must stay quiet because if I do, then it can become if intolerant. If you say it, they'll call you a racist. That's right. And I can yeah. say things and speak into the white community that he dare not say because at that point they'll say he's militant. Yeah. And so that's why we're coming together and God has put us together. But let me speak to the Hispanic community. You know, my passion, God put me in a position in Miami. I served as the English pastor to help Alberto Delgado at Alpha and Omega build up his English service. I was there for seven years. Then I helped Guillermo Maldonado, Apostle Maldonado, build up his English service and served him. And that went on for five years. God gave me a heart for the Hispanic. Mm -hmm. I dealt with illegals, I dealt with legals, I buried, I married, I confronted, I, I counseled, we helped give them jobs. I want you to know something. In the Hispanic community, the vast majority of those that are emerging into this society become small business owners. Small business owners. Wow. So part of what you just answered is in that relation also. The same thing with the Asian community. My dear friend who's the uh, director uh, and the founder of the Asian American community, Herman Martyr, wonderful man of God. I'm a, I'm a counselor and advisor to there. The Asians come and they work hard and they start small businesses. And, and so part of our solution in the small business area and in the inner city, because they occupy both places, is with the immigration. Now let's talk about that most sensitive area of the Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that there's one network, Hispanic network mm -hmm. that has just decimated Donald Trump. Right. And now it's come out in WikiLeaks that they were actually promoting this. Mm -hmm. It's come out. Well, we already knew it, but it came out. And so here's the Hispanic community getting this deluge of this anti-Trump, racial, anti-Hispanic stuff. God's going to tear your children. Uh, he's going to tear your children from you while you're at work and you're going to come home and they're not going to be there. They're going to be kicking down your doors like the Gestapo, literally dressing them up like a Nazi. But the truth of the matter is that when I took these pastors with me to Trump Tower and met with Mr. Trump, there were six of us in his office. He leaned over the desk at me and he said, Frank, he said, I have a heart for the immigrant. He said, this is a big problem. We need to solve it. And I said, Mr. Trump, you know, and I believe you do, that some of the immigrants that are illegal, we think that it's just bad because they've broken laws. But you know how many laws are being broken on them and they can't even go to the police? They can't go to the law? They have absolutely no rights because if they do, they're exposing themselves. And so we have people that take advantage of them. We have doctors that take advantage of them. I'm not going to criticize anybody. We have lawyers that take advantage of them. Do you know how many of them have paid enormous fees to try and get citizenship when it was impossible and the lawyers already knew it. $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 for hardworking people. So you've got the right person when you talk about this. And so we congealed a whole bunch of people together, tremendous men and women of God across the country, with, with, and we presented it to Mr. Trump. And at this point, what he said, he leaned over and he said to me, he said, I do have a heart for this and I'm going to deal with it with compassion. First, we must secure our borders and then we'll deal with it. I can tell you, I am absolutely confident in my heart. There is no way he's going to rip people's children out of their arms and send them away. He told me he would never do such a thing. Now, for us to believe that he doesn't care about the stranger and the immigrant, it's the same thing as the race card. It's just another card. Mm -hmm. But you know who's at fault for this? Who? I want to tell you. It's us leaders, it's us pastors, it's the Hispanic leaders, they're my friends, and they're in the Christian end because they'll lose their base. If they come out right now and say, listen, we need to vote for him, I can tell you almost every one of them, and you know their names and I know their names, they are personally voting for Donald Trump. They are personally wow. voting for Donald Trump. Wow. They said, there's no way I can vote for Hillary and, and be pro-abortion. There's right. no way I can buy into this Thank agenda, God. but if I come out and say it, yeah. My base is going to come against me, and you come against yeah. that too. Yeah, and so here's my challenge. The Hispanic leaders, you have time. Yes. Those of you that are over Christian Hispanic churches, you have time to come out and say, listen, don't fall the fear tactics. Let's vote for this man. God is in it, and we'll work and have access to make sure we take care of immigration in the right way. It has to come from the body of Christ and the Hispanic leaders right now, right now, right now. You're absolutely right. And you know, a lot of what you just said could be applicable to the black community as well. That's right. You know, if the only card that the Democratic Party has to play against Donald Trump is the race card, 
if we can prove that that race card is a bogus card, it's a counterfeit card, it's a card that has no business in the deck, then we can change minds. Yeah. If we change minds, we can change actions. Yes. If we change actions, we can change the future of this nation. That's right. Let me tell you something. Go I ahead. took, first of all, there's a huge silent majority of blacks that are going to vote for Trump. Crazy. I've coined a term for them. I call them the incog Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now only you can hey, say that. Jim, how can you say that? <laughs> you say that to a racist. You Jim, Jim, Jim you're my witness. He uh, said it. I did not. I didn't say it. Incog <laughs> Negroes. And you know, it's, it, it, the, the, the reason is because of what uh, Frank just said. They fear the people. Right. What did um, yeah. Saul say? I fear the people. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I saved a life yeah. or I retained or allowed to um, exist what God wanted destroyed. Right. Saul so allowed that yeah. because he sure. feared the people. Feared. And there are a number of pastors that are allowing things to go on in this country that they know God wants dead because they fear the yes. people. Wow. Yes. And, but I've had, right. we took a, I took 109 black pastors with me to um, Trump Tower. And it wasn't for the purpose of endorsement. It was for the purpose of engagement, even though the media tried to twist it. <laughs> I took them with me to Trump Tower in December of 2015. Out of that 109 pastors that were there, it was near unanimous support. I'll say 80, 85 of them said, I'm voting for Donald Trump. I like <laughs> Trump. I'm just not telling anybody. Wow. And I'm not letting my congregation know because I don't want to lose members. I don't want to lose money. A lot of people aren't built like that. You're right. They don't want the controversy. They don't want the combativeness. They can't take the confrontation. I can. That's why I guess God has me out here fighting these folk like the yeah. way I fight. Yeah, I, you're, I, I, I well, honor you for it. I really do. What I, what I, I said to Daryl, that. that's apostolic. Yes, that's it, apostolic. it is. That's apostolic. You see, those that are moving yeah. into fivefold, that's apostolic. A lot of apostolic. people can't do that. But yeah, they tell yeah. me all the time, we're going to vote for him. We're just not telling anybody. And I said, well, at least, well, tell him in private then. But you have to get the word out because, Amen. to be honest, it's not about the Democratic agenda. It's not about the Republican agenda. It's not about Hillary Clinton's agenda. It's not about Donald Trump's agenda. It's about God's agenda. That's it. Yeah. And so we have to see which one of these flawed candidates are the ones that God has entrusted his agenda to. Right. And I think Donald Trump is the one that God has yeah. put it in his hand. You know, God called Cyrus. He's been compared to Cyrus. Lance, Lance Wall, Wall no. <laughs> my good friend, that's my brother from another mother yeah, as well. You know, there are certain, there's some honorary African Americans. Yeah. Lance is one. Lance is one. I've given, Dr. I've given um, Frank, Frank Wall, immediate right honorary here. African Americans. Yeah. Brother, I'll give you honorary Italian Jew. <laughs> that's good. Amen. There you go. We're you just, good. We just got it. This uh, is uh, off the Salute. Yeah. But you know, Boy we just had Dr. Lance Wall now with yeah, us. That's my buddy. We just had him with us. I saw yeah. a picture yeah, with you with he him. He was with us, and he said he compared him to a modern day. Now, watch this. Yeah. God called Cyrus. Right. He raised him up, and he called Cyrus my anointed. Right. Yeah. Now, did that mean he had the power of the Holy Spirit to work miracles and signs and wonders? No. It simply means that God invested him the anointing simply gives you the ability to do. The purpose of the anointing is to give you the ability to do yeah. whatever it is God has called you to do. Right. He anointed Cyrus to liberate his people. Right. He's anointed. And so I really believe Donald Trump possesses that anointing to elevate yep. the people of God and to advance God's agenda in America. Absolutely. Cyrus was anointed to advance God's agenda. That's right. He was a pagan king, yes. but God used him. Yes, he did. And, and, and Donald Trump, once again, has respect and a reverence, and he accepts Christianity. He embraces Christianity. He embraces his Presbyterian mm. uh, upbringing, mm -hmm. and he considers himself a Christian. Yes. And he's going to advance the cause of Christ, and every Christian should vote on election day, black, white, Italian, Jewish, whatever. Every American should, but every Christian in particular should endorse, should support, should vote for Donald Trump. And when you get in that voting booth, yes. the peer pressure <clears throat> is what's causing people not to vote for him. Wow. But when you get in that voting booth, all that peer pressure is gone. Right. It's you it. and God yes. it. in that booth together. That's right on. And you can't tell me so that God true. is going to tell you to vote for abortion. Never. 
to vote for all of that democratic agenda. God's Never. not going to lead you. You're not being led by God in that direction. That's right. We will be right back after this special message. <laughs> 